Hello. Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a uh, G-code right inside of RouterCAD. This is what we call just a master drawing. This is just a bunch of different end-type configurations for the type of cabinets that uh, we typically build. Uh, in RouterCAD, you don't have to send out just one part at a time. I can send out a group of parts. And in this video, let's say I want to send out these two base ends so and get the proper results. I'm just going to go into the command line and type in DXF for DXF export. It's telling me to select what I want to export, so I'm just going to select these two parts. It's going to bring up our dialog box. So here's our base end panels, our cabinet, our part number is one, that's fine. Uh, material is three quarters melamine, that's fine. A quantity of two, so that's going to give us four total parts. And I want to go ahead and nest the parts. So I'm just going to select OK here. We'll say this is uh, base in panels. Select save here. It's going to open up our nesting option. This is just the gap between the parts. I'm going to click OK. We're going to nest this. Here's our four parts. And then also uh, RouterCAD is going to come in and square this off. If you look in here, this little green line is what we call our rip line which is going to just square that part off for you too so you have a, you know what size piece of scrap you have left over after you machine these parts. I'm just going to go ahead and go quick code. We'll just tell it to display the code. And here's your G code being created, your, your dados for your back, all your line boring has been done, and the parts have been cut out. Uh, again, thank you for watching uh, this video and it can be that easy for you too to create your parts in G code inside RouterCAD. Thank you very much.